in this question how can we do it this is a simple question based on rl circuit right in this they have given the voltage in the form of equation and they have given the current in the form of equation so first of all tell me this is a source free response or a forced response you know no i told you two types of response one is source free and another one is forced in source free we don't have any source in forced we are having fo uh, source so in this no source is present so this one we can consider it as source free response right now next thing in this we need to calculate r as you know according to ohm's law v is equal to i multiplied by r right v voltage they have given that is 160 e raised to power minus 10 t we can write down here 160 e raised to power minus 10 t and current also they have mentioned that is it 8 into e raised to power minus 10 t right 8 into e raised to power minus 10 t multiplied by r so can we calculate r from here so that would be 160 e raised to power minus 10 t divided by 8 into e raised to power minus 10 t so this e raised to power minus 10 t would be cancel out right because it is same or we can do it like e raised to power minus 10 t and it will go up that is plus 10 t right so e raised to power uh, minus 10 plus 10 is 0 and anything raised to power 0 is equal to 1 okay and we can solve it further that would be 20 so what we got r value is equal to 20 ohm right okay any doubt up to here so our first part done that we have to calculate r r we got it as a 20 ohm next part in this we have to calculate tau as i told you tau is what tau is the time constant right and if it is rl circuit then tau value is l divided by r equivalent and if it is rc circuit then tau value is r equivalent multiplied by c so this is a lr circuit or rl circuit right so we know the value of r we just calculated it so tau is equal to l divided by r equivalent r we know right r we just calculated 20 right and uh, l we know l l they didn't mention right l they didn't mention so we have to calculate l right but they have mentioned the equation as i told you what is the standard equation standard equation is equal to v is equal to v not e raised to power minus t by tau right this is the standard equation now they have given v is equal to 160 e raised to power minus 10 t so if we'll compare these equation can you tell me what is the value of tau tau is equal to how much 1 by 10 right because t is already there tau is 1 by 10 correct so we can say that 1 by tau is equal to 10 right now we are having formula that is tau equal to l divided by r in this we know already the value of tau 1 by 10 we know the value of r we just calculated 20 from here can we get the value of l how much l is equal to 2 henry right so we got the value of l now next thing to we already calculated that is 1 by 10 and we have to convert it into millisecond okay 
now next thing they are asking the initial energy stored in inductor can you tell me what is the formula for the energy stored in inductor yes energy formula for the inductor that is half l i square okay if there is a case of capacitor then in that case energy stored in capacitor is how much do you know the formula that is half cv square okay now we need to calculate energy stored in inductor so for that half we know right l we know 2 and current also they have mentioned in the form of equation how much is the current i is equal to 8 into e raised power minus 10 t right so we can put down the equation here 8 into e raised power minus 10 t and square for that understood now they ask you the initial energy initial means the starting right and you know at the starting initial means at time is equal to zero right t is equal to zero initial means the starting condition so we can put the value of t here as zero okay half half will be cancelled out this one two two cancel out so what would be the value 8 into e raised power minus 10 into 0 whole square correct next 8 into e raised power 0 square and you know anything raised to power 0 is 1 so left one is 8 square 8 square is 64 joules because energy unit is present in joules so this is our final 